Alright, so we are given, the question says, given f of x is equal to a half to the power of x. Draw a neat sketch graph of f and clearly indicate the y-intersect of f. Okay, now this is a, an exponential type of graph. Do you know why it's exponential? Uh, because of the uh, the x that's the uh, the half is up to the the little x in the corner there. Uh, the variable the is in the exponent. Yeah. 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 That is the, the variable is the exponent, so that's why it's called an exponential graph. Now, do you know how to draw an exponential graph? Can you take that half um, to the power of x and tell me what the graph will look like? No, I haven't done that. Alright, so what if you don't know how to draw a graph quickly, what can you do? What is the one technique that works always? The table method. Alright, so let's do that. So what x values do you want to choose? Well, can we start from negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, 2? Okay, that's always a good idea to start. Okay. Right, so then we say minus 2. So what is a half to the power of minus 2? You can actually work that out on your calculator if you want. You should be able to know what it is. Um. You know, it should be common knowledge, but if you don't, you can use your calculator. Uh, well, what, it's going to be a quarter, wouldn't it? Mm-mm, mm-mm. Right. It's not a half to the power of positive two. A half to the power of positive two will be a half times a half, which will be a quarter. Quarter. But if but if you got negative if it's to the power, to the power, of power of negative two. Mm -hmm. Did he uh, you want me to show you negative what it is two, wouldn't it without be, a calculator? Uh, if you could please, yeah. It's just because in my mind I've got negative two times neg I mean negative a half times negative a half. No 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 the negative is not part of the half. Remember the negative is in the exponent. So what you have there is oh. the following. You have a half which can be written as 2 to the power of minus 1. You know the negative exponents. Yeah. And that is raised to the exponent negative 2. Which means you will multiply the exponents, giving you 2 to the power of positive 2, which is 4. 4. Okay, okay, I see. So a half to the power of negative 2 is not a half, minus a half. It's not the half that was made a minus. Yeah, okay, yeah, I see. Alright, so and then obviously a half to the power of minus 1 will be 2, and a half to the power of 0, anything to the power of 0 is what? Uh, 0. No, one, one. No, one. All right, so there we have our table. Then let's just construct our axis diagram. And then you just plot the points and then you've drawn your graph. Exactly. So we've got minus one, <laughs> minus two, zero, one. And 2, so at minus 2, we have 4. 4. At minus 1, we have 2. At 0, we have 1. At 1, we have a half. At 2, we have a quarter. And then gradually, it's going to come all the way closer and closer and closer to the x-axis, but it will never touch the x-axis but we now know that the shape of this graph looks something like that. Okay. Okay, and that's
that's it. Graph drawn. Just like that. Jesus. Uh. Yep. <laughs> All right, and then but then they say indicate clearly the y intersect of f. Now where's the y intersect of f? Remember, you need to also say that this is the graph of f. All right. F, you need yeah. to say um, f. It's where the graph intercepts the y-axis. So how are you going to indicate that? It's fine that you know where it is, but the uh, question said indicate clearly. So how are you going to indicate it? Are you going to write like an essay there saying, this point here with the arrow is the <laughs> y-intersect of the graph? Or is there a shorter nah, way? I just... Well, personally, I think I would just, you know, draw a circle around where it intersects. It, inter it intersects um, on one. So I think I would just draw a circle around it. And, you know. Okay, but unfortunately that is not going to work. This, I'm, I'm, I'm going through this whole joke to tell you another, you know, to give you another tip. Because if they say indicate okay. clearly, you need to do this. Okay. Okay, you need to indicate using coordinates. Oh, uh, all right. So you've got to show the coordinates. You've got That's to write what the they mean if they say it. Yes. That's it. All right. All right. Now they also say no. for question B, or part B of this question, write down the range of f now you have two types of questions in this regard you have the domain and you have the range sometimes they ask you for the domain sometimes they ask you for the range sometimes they ask you for both in this specific case they want to know the range now what is the range of a graph i have no idea Okay, let me teach you this. D comes before R in the alphabet. You agree? Yeah. And X comes before Y in the alphabet. Yeah. So when they ask for the range, they are asking you to tell them which are the only valid Y values for that graph. And it's clear to see that it's only y values bigger than zero. That graph will never go through the x-axis. In other words, it will never have a negative y value. Okay. Which means for the range, your answer will be Greater than zero, yeah. Do you know what I've written there? Um, y is greater than zero and y is equal to... Why is it not number. greater and equal to zero? Oh, not equal, yeah, sorry. <laughs> no, no, it's not equal. Remember that graph will never touch the x-axis. And only if it touches yeah. the x-axis or passes through the x-axis will y be equal to zero? So you have to say that y is not equal to zero. And the way to do that is to simply say that it's bigger than zero. It can be as small, as, yeah. you know, as close, to, as close to zero as possible, but it will never be equal to zero. Okay, but then the second part of the equation, what does that mean? Uh, y is equal, well not equal, but y is a rational number. No, R doesn't stand for rational numbers. Uh, okay, then I'm clear. R stands for real numbers. Real R. Okay, it's the real number system. Which basically means anything. Fractions, rationals, irrationals, positive values, from one all the way up to a zillion gazillion, any, any number as long as y is bigger than zero. So as long as y is not negative, 
you can include any fraction you like. All of them are valid. And it basically means, in a nutshell, you could draw a line anywhere. And it will, you know, horizontal line anywhere above the x-axis. And it will always cut the graph somewhere. 